Well, I think that you've pointed to the two key issues. And the issue for me is that politicians are conflating these issues in a way that allows them to gain votes. I don't disagree with my colleagues on the panel who say that at a certain level and a certain speed of migration, it's unsustainable and it's unaffordable. I would agree with that. What bothers me, and quite frankly what frightens me, is the way that the practical and economic rhetoric gets mixed with the civilizational anti-Islamic rhetoric. And here, I think, is where we see a total contrast between France under Macron and some of these other countries. He has not fallen prey to that. If you recall the final presidential debate with Le Pen a few days before the election, he said to her face, I will not indulge this fear and called her the high priestess of fear. So he pushed back against that rhetoric and said that you can have a tough anti-terrorism policy, you can have a serious integration policy, but you don't have to adopt that sort of rhetoric. So that's where I disagree with my colleagues on this panel. By all means, you have to limit numbers, you have to limit the speed. What's interesting to me also is in the CDU in Germany, for instance, even some of the people who objected to Angela Merkel's policy within the party, they don't indulge in the same sort of civilizational rhetoric that targets Muslims, that blames Muslims, and that riles up voters by talking about Muslims as a threat to European culture. They say, yes, it's going to be a challenge, and yes, it's going to be hard to integrate people, and no, we didn't agree with this policy. But I think that that is a fundamentally different approach to the people who go along with this. And that is the danger in a lot of these countries now, is too many people are adopting this rhetoric in order to win votes. And so